Hi guys, welcome once again to my channel. My name's Tim and I'm from 40 Tech. If you find these types of videos interesting, then please consider subscribing to my channel because it certainly helps out. Okay, so in this video, I want to explain some of the reasons why the Crane M2S can come up with that rather annoying error message saying that the access has been locked. And you basically get a little lock symbol appear in the screen here. So you could be using the um, gimbal in a normal way, just out and about, working perfectly fine. And then you look down and find the gimbal seem to resp stop responding and you get this little error message. So what is going on and how to fix it? Well, there seems to be two reasons why this occurs. The main reason why this error can occur is that the actual gimbal has not been balanced correctly. You may be working okay, but what generally means is if one of the axes is, is not um, balanced quite correctly, that motor is working much harder than all the others. And so what happens is the gimbal then shuts that motor down or effectively gives you the error message to prevent any potential damage to that motor by it being overworked. So as soon as that occurs, that is basically a warning to stop what you're doing, put the gimbal down, and then start working out which axis has not been balanced. Now, I find that perhaps the most common uh, reason why it's not being balanced is the tilt axis here. Because you could find that you balance it like this um, in a tilt axis, and everything's fine, and it's also working perfectly fine or balanced in all the other axes. But one of the things that's easy to forget is the fact that we also need to balance it by holding the gimbal like this and to stop it from spinning down. Now, if you look at my uh, video, I have actually got quite a comprehensive video on how to balance the, um, the GoPro and the Crane M2S, and although it's true for other cameras as well. But it's very easy when you're out to and about to accidentally forget to do this bit. Now, I find that is one of the main reasons why that limp access lock error can occur. So. Take a pause and then actually do the balancing properly and make sure it's balanced in this direction as well um, by following the instructions in my video and that will solve one of the reasons for the message. The other second reason which actually can occur, although it's not quite so common, is that it's very easy, I find, to accidentally knock the little locks on each of these here. They're very much um, easy to move with your finger accidentally. So for example, if you're holding the gimbal like this, um, you may find you just knock it with your hands or your finger accidentally, and then suddenly you lock a, an access and you know that's gonna cause the error message uh, to appear. If that happens, um, before you start to try and go through the whole hassle of rebalancing the gimbal, just make sure you haven't accidentally locked um, one of the little locks here, um, because I find I do that all the time and it's really annoying. Okay, that's pretty much the only two reasons why you get this error message. There's nothing to panic about or nothing too scary. It's just basically there just to um, tell you, hey, hey mate, um, you've done something a little bit stupid here. Just um, help me out. Okay, so that is it. I hope you find that useful. Um, and let me know if you have any issue questions at all about using a gimbal uh, in the comments below and I'll see if I can help or maybe even do a little video like I've done here to respond to some of the comments. All right, take care and I shall see you soon on another video.